Hello and welcome back. I am kilogolf 2 charlie also licensed as LZ1 AMA, and today I'm starting a series on the RF connectors that I use in the shack here, starting with my favorite, the BNC connector. So RF connectors. Most people just use the SO239 and the PL259 connectors in their shack, but the other connectors like the BNC and the N connector and the SMA connector have their uses as well. And here in my shack, I actually use all of those uh, because I enjoy various aspects of the hobby. For example, I like to go out and do portable operations. I like to also to operate uh, satellite uh, portable and from home. Uh, I have a vertical here for VHF, UHF. Uh, I operate HF, both on QRP power and high power. So all of these applications uh, are suited to different connectors, basically. And you can do most of it with just the PO259 and SO239 connector, but the other connectors have their advantages in some of these. And that's what we're going to talk about today. So starting with my favorite connector, the BNC connector. Uh, I know amateur radio doesn't use it a whole lot, but if you look around at equipment, you will occasionally find it. Uh, for example, lab equipment often has it uh, because the BNC connector is good to up to pretty high frequency and can be used many times. Unlike the SMA connector, let me give you a bit of an overview of why I use BNC connectors. First, they're very easy to put on and remove. It saves time. When you do this a lot, for example, in a portable operation where it would be setting up several times a day and breaking apart that station, it is easier to use the BNC. Also at home when I'm testing stuff and I need to quickly connect and disconnect stuff or switch connections, for example, switch one antenna to between several different radios, if I don't have it connected to a switch, it's just easier to use the BNC connector. Another advantage of the BNC connector that it does last a long time compared to an SMA connector and it can take much more abuse. I'm going to show you some stuff that I have here that uses the BNC connector. Now most ham gear doesn't come with BNC connectors, it comes with PL259 and SO239. But uh, for example the Yezu FT817 uh, ND or in the FT818, uh, they come with a BNC connector on the front here. Uh, which is used for VHF and UHF, whereas by default the connector on the back, which is the SO239 chassis connector, it's used for HF. This one is basically suitable uh, for putting an antenna on the radio, like you can put a whip like you use on your HD on the radio directly and have it in the pack that it comes with and you can operate that way. Another usage of BNC connectors I have here is on my Kenwood radio, the Kenwood uh, THD74. Uh, it does not come with a BNC connector by default, but I have put a little adapter here and if you notice uh, the adapter is uh, black uh, just like the radio, so it really doesn't look like it's a separate part from the radio, but the radio itself comes with an SMA connector and this adapter is so well made that you can't distinguish it from the radio, it just looks like it's part of it. And the advantage here is I can swap out antennas a lot faster than with an SMA connector. Because with SMA I have to screw it all the way in and then screw it all the way out. The BNC, you just align it, you push, and you have a quarter turn. And that is it. And I switch antennas very often. So sometimes I would use this little antenna when I'm using my hotspot over here for D-Star. But sometimes if I'm portable, I would want a longer antenna, a longer vertical antenna. And, you know, I just swap that out, put the other one in and, you know, ready to operate. It's, it's that easy. And I don't want to wear out the SMA connector on the radio as well. So having the BNC connector and the BNC adapter here it offers me a level of protection. Because I'm not wearing out the SMA connector on the radio with all that swapping. And I really do swap antennas a lot. So, uh, you know, I, I want this radio to last me a very long time because I really love it. And it's a wonderful radio. And I want to preserve it. So by putting the BNC adapter on it, you know, that takes care of that as well. Same thing with my Yezu FT2D radio. Uh, that one also comes with an SMA connector, like all modern uh, HTs come. And same same thing here, you know, uh, very easy. Same, same, same antenna, same adapter here. And I, you know, so I can swap antennas on that one as well. I don't swap them out as often over there, 
but basically by standardizing with a BNC connector on all my HTs, I can use the same antennas on them and swap them very easily. Another piece of equipment I have over here that I really use a lot is the SDR Play RSP1 Alpha. It's an SDR receiver that's good on through all of HF and VHF and UHF, and by default it comes with an SMA connector. Uh, I usually try to protect the SMA connector, so I use a BNC adapter, basically an SMA to BNC adapter, and there's all kinds of adapters like that. I'll show you a photo over here of the different kinds I have. And, you know, I, by applying this adapter here, I can use the same antennas I use on my radios and also use my uh, uh, coax uh, cables that have BNC connectors on them. And by the way, BNC connectors are very easy to put on coax cable, about as easy in the, as the PO259s, maybe even a little bit easier, I would say. Uh, so, you know, it's very easy to make your own cables with BNC connectors. I mentioned my arrow antenna earlier, and that antenna comes with two BNC connectors, one for two meters and one for 70 centimeters. What I usually do when I operate satellite, and I usually do that portable, is I have two separate coax cables with the BNC connectors on them going to my two HTs, which also have BNC connectors. That makes setting up very easy because unlike the SMA connector and the PO259 connector, you know, all it takes is a quarter turn. So I can set up and break down that uh, station very quickly. Basically, I have everything in a backpack or a small bag. I go to the park. It takes me, you know, half a minute to set up everything. Now I'm going to show you some photos of different BNC connectors. They have them for all kinds of cables. RG58, RG8X, RG8, LMR2, uh, 400 and uh, they, they look a little bit different. I mean, the ones for LMR400 look very heavy duty if you compare them to the others. Another advantage to the BNC connector that it is pretty much idiot proof. Once you put it on, you know it is on. Unlike the SMA connector and the PO259 connector, which have to be tightened properly, it's very clear with the BNC connector because you just slide it in and you do a quarter rotation and it locks. Uh, there's no ambiguity about whether uh, you've put it on properly or not. Unlike the PO259 connector and the SMA connector, the BNC connector will stay put once you've put it. Uh, as you know, the SMA connectors and the PL259 connectors, when the coax moves, they gradually just untighten and you have to tighten them again. And, you know, it, it, it can pro cause problems sometimes. It happens with my RSP1 Alpha when I move it around the desk and the coax moves, eventually the connector disconnects or loosens and it should be tightened properly. Same thing can happen with your PL259s when things move. With the BNC connector you don't have that issue at, at all. Another advantage of the BNC connector is that it can carry a decent amount of power. For any portable operation that I do it can always handle the power I need. I haven't run more than 100 watts through it but it has no issue at that power. The BNC connector is usually good until 4 GHz. Some spec sheets would say 2 GHz, but that's still way better than a PL259 connector. So using it at home for VHF, UHF stuff can be beneficial. Now, you probably won't feel a huge difference if you're just using it for your local repeater. There are the PL259 connectors just fine. But if you're using it for weak signal stuff and VHF, UHF DXing or satellite contacts, there you might want to think about the BNC connector or maybe even the end connector if you're running higher power. If you're still here and watching, congratulations! You care about BNC connectors as much as I do. Please subscribe to the channel so you get updates about the new upcoming videos, especially the ones on other RF connectors like SMA, PO259 and end connectors. 73 from Kilogolf2 Charlie, also licensed as LZ1MA. Bye bye, until next time!